Welcome FNUS57 here. Once again, I'm back on my Xbox Series X to bring you yet another Elden Ring guide. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to get one of the very useful but uh, limited engagement opportunity spells. This particular spell is called Eternal Darkness, and it is a really awesome sorcery, especially for going through areas that have a bunch of enemies that use magic, or if you are up against some of the really annoying magic builds in PvP. I'm still testing its utter usefulness with incantations and if there's any sorceries that can counter it, but so far it is proven to be a insanely useful spell. So basically, never get hit by magic again. At the same time, you can use magic. Uh, before I go too far, I will show you exactly where you can get this spell. It's actually very easy to get. It's in the Kalid region of the map. And there's a couple different ways that you can get here, but it is located just south of the Salil town of sorcery. So whether you want to take the footpath and walk all the way around and go through the gates and go through Salil, or if you want to take the fast travel and go up to the Bastille Sanctum and ride down. However you want to get here is entirely up to you. Uh, if you do take a footpath, you will need to defeat the boss in the Salil Town of Sorcery. This way you'll unlock the doors and be able to ride up the mountaintops towards the Church of the Plague and then follow the really clearly marked path through the Salil Gateway and you will encounter the area that I am at right now. But regardless of how you want to get here on the map, it's a pretty easy spot to get to. And there's only a few enemies guarding it. There is, however, a Blood Knight in here. And he does a massive amount of bleed buildup or blood loss buildup. So be careful when you fight him. But if you're overleveled, he should be a relatively easy kill for you. He doesn't drop anything specific, but then you can open the cell door and pillage the remains for your newfound eternal darkness. Once you have it, you can go ahead and go back to any grace site, memorize the spell, and use it at your leisure. So, when it comes to spells, I'm going to go ahead and demo it for you. Alright, once you memorize the eternal darkness spell, you can cast it via any staff. However, I like to think that the Staff of Loss, also located in the Salil Town of Sorcery, does have a helpful effect, but I cannot confirm that at this time, because it boosts the invisibility sorceries. Now, with that being said, when you go ahead, regardless of the staff that you use to actually cast the spell, what it does is it puts a large vortex of darkness just kind of floating above your character but it doesn't actually move with your character it doesn't cost a whole lot of fp to cast but it does just put this black hole basically right above where the point that it was cast at was looking at the actual stats on this particular spell a lot of people may not be interested in it because it costs 25 FP and requires 35 intelligence to cast, so fairly high costs, but it creates a dark space that draws in spells. And the neat thing is you can actually use this while using your own magic and be unaffected. So it doesn't so much actually, like the flavor text says, suck in the spell but it does change the spell's trajectory pretty much bending a non-homing spell away from the point at which the spell was cast however the neat thing is even with that spell active the caster can still use their magic without any issue at all both magics that are cast ahead of time and magics that are cast while the spell is active are not affected as long as it is the caster that has cast eternal darkness and is casting the other sorceries so hopefully you can make use of this spell while going through areas like the rea lucaria academy salil's town of sorcery or possibly again some of those extremely maddening sorcery builds in pvp 
Anyways, drop a comment in the description and let me know what you think. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe for more content. Stay frosty.